Hey guys, it's Justin from Justin's HIV Journal, and uh, I have some news for you. So you know, prep is to uh, prep is the Trivada pill, which is supposedly what the CDC says it was. It's uh, ninety two percent effective from preventing HIV transmission from one human to another. Well, not everything's one hundred percent, right? So we just found out that today, actually, that a forty two year old uh, man who has sex with men um, or MSM just contracted the HIV virus after being compliant and taking this pill every single day to prevent against HIV infection. So what they did was to make sure that he was compliant, <clears throat> the researchers did a test and so basically they did a test and it's called a blood spot test. So basically uh, the blood spot test is supposed to tell them exactly if the, if the, it's supposed to tell them if the person has been compliant with a certain amount of days uh, after, or I'm sorry, before the infection. So, but the test, of course, is taken after they've been infected. Um, now, the patient, the 42, 43-year-old man, actually was tested positive after going on PrEP for about two years. So about 24 months after that, he tested positive for HIV. So here's the deal. Nothing is 100% effective, right? Condoms are not 100% effective. PrEP is not 100% effective. But yet, it is still a huge step in public health to be able to have something that prevents against HIV that is not a condom. That is actually a lot easier for people to take because it's a lot less heartache um, to pop in a pill and then take a con and then you know putting on a condom every single time. Because this way, you can just in the morning time remember to take your prep, pop it in your mouth, be done with it. So that being said, um, you know, do not down prep just because of this. So what happened was, basically this man, the 43-year-old, was taking PrEP, you know, every single day, religiously. So he came in contact with HIV through another individual, which they did find out it was only one individual. And that individual's HIV is resistant to, <clears throat> I believe, the medications that are in PrEP. That is tenofovir and... Mm, Intracitabine. So, intracitabine. So, um, so the the HIV that this person contracted is res is resistant on multiple levels of HIV medications. So, even so, seeing how PrEP is a, a is a part of an HIV medication as well, but it's taken by taken by people that are HIV negative. If somebody gets in contact with somebody who's HIV positive and their strand, their HIV strand is resistant to PrEP, they can still in turn infect the other person because their bod, their HIV strand has built up a resistance for PrEP and, and PrEP or the Trivada pill is already known to treat people who have HIV. So that's what, that's where we are now. So even though this happened, this is not a panic. Let's not, you know, call on the cavalry here. It's okay. You know, it's not okay that, you know, it's very sad to see that somebody has been infected. It's very, very sad. I, I hate that. But let's just keep things in perspective here. Nothing is 100% effective. Nothing, again, is 100% effective. Condoms are not 100% effective. You will never find a place on Google Yahoo, Bing, whatever the hell search engine you're looking for, that is going to say condoms are 100% effective because they're not. PrEP is not 100% effective. We know that. CDC knows that. They came out as, as such and said 92% effective. FDA approved the pill. Hey, because you know what? They have common sense. So what are you going to say? What are you going to do? Things happen like this. A lot of times this does happen. And I think that after it's been given to the public um, or to the targeted populations of gay men and MSMs, after four years of being in circulation um, and ex being accessible, and we have one infection on the books from, from somebody utilizing PrEP, I think that's pretty damn good. So honestly, I think it's pretty damn good. And I still support PrEP, and I still will support PrEP. Um, and I will support any innovative way to prevent HIV to the day that I die. So, just wanted to give you a brief 
news update, and I know that a lot of you were reading the title like, hmm, maybe this is about something, and oh my gosh, I don't know what this is about, maybe Justin's coming out against prep or not. No, I'm not. Not at all. So anyway, have a good night, and I will talk to you guys later, and I hope that, um, you know, you guys are taking care of yourselves and being safe. So, good luck, guys, and talk to you guys later.